Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to a Python series. In this video, we're going to learn what a tuple is. Now, tuples are the last data structure we're learning, and the core concept is that the exact same thing as lists. They're a sequence, but most of all, they're immutable. They can't be changed. You can't delete items in a tuple. You can't update items in a tuple. Once a tuple is made, it's there forever. So how do we create a tuple? So the basic concept is right here, is you say tuple one, or in this case, just tuple, is equal to normal parentheses, not square, not curly, just the normal round parentheses. And then you populate it with whatever list items you want. Let's say oranges, um, apples, and bananas. All right, now if I enter, we've created the tuple. And if I want to print it out, there we go, oranges, apples, and bananas. Now again, the most important thing on a tuple is that you can't update it. So if I want to, you know, say, hey, tuple, um, you know, oranges, so tube zero should be now cherries. It's going to give me an error saying that tuple does not support item assignment. But what you can do is you can access the values. So just like I did over here, tube zero, you can access the values just like in a list. Tube zero gets me oranges, tube one gets me apples, so on and so forth. And the exact same thing with the index splicing that we learned with lists. If we have tube zero and we go zero to two, we get oranges and apples. So all those functions that we use in lists still work. It's just that you can't update or change what a tuple has been created with. That being said, however, you can add tuples together. If I create another tuple, top two, and I add a few numbers here, 12 and 14, and now I want to create a new tuple with tube and tube two, then I can go ahead and say tube three is equal to tube plus tube two. Okay. So by doing that, I can create, uh, whoops, by doing that, I can add multiple tuples together, but again, still reinforcing the concept that you can't modify or delete a tuple that already exists. What you can do is you can delete a tuple, the entire thing by calling Dell and then the tuple name. So I'm going to go ahead and delete tube three and that removes tube three from our code. It says tube three is not defined, but you can't actually you can't actually remove um, specific items inside of your tuple. Um, other than that, that's basically the core concept of tuples. We still have a len function that we learned in dictionaries. You can call len of tuple and we can get how many items are in um, the current tuple. And what you can also do is you can use the string functions that we learned, for example, um, repetition. You could say something like if tuple is equal to high, Oops. Hi. Then I can say tuple times four to get high, 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 high. I can also add tuples. We learned that already. Concatenating them, creating multiple tuples. But just remember, tuples are immutable. So quick recap of this video, guys. Tuples are another data, data structure in Python, and the core concept is they're immutable. You can't change them. They work just like lists. They're a sequencing sort of data structure. You can create a tuple using normal parentheses. You can access them using um, the current index strategy where you have square brackets and then a number. You can still splice them, you know, going from zero to two, zero to one, stuff like that. And you can also concatenate and multiply them. Just remember, you can't delete tuples or you can't delete items in tuples and you can't modify them. They're immutable. Thanks for listening, guys. That was tuples in a nutshell. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, ask down below and I'll see you in the next video.